talking about that movie and, and a lot of other things. Uh, but one more thing before we let you go here with Room of the World, too. If there, so if people don't really, you know, because there's so much to watch on Netflix. I know. And what are you guys into right now? On Netflix? <laughs> no, um, anywhere. Oh, well, we just, I mean, obviously we just finished up Game of Thrones. Did you, were you were the Game of Thrones? Yes, guy? of course. What did you think about the finale? Um, I think it's very hard to finish a series in a satisfactory, satisfying capacity as far as, uh, you know, MASH, Seinfeld, take your pick. Yeah. I'm so deeply thank. I can't go dark side on Benioff and Weiss yeah. because I'm so thankful for what they did. I know they had the template of the books for a lot of it, but the writing, I mean, I just, people, like, I'm not a sword and sandals fantasy guy, you know, and I, but <laughs> I look at, and I could care less about the nudity and the, the violence, and I enjoy it very much. I find that it honors the audience, right. and it, it doesn't infantilize, infantilize you. Is that the right word? Yeah. It sure, treats yeah. you like an adult. <laughs> yeah. And um, I don't know. I mean, but to me, it's just the brilliance of that show is you want to turn left. I want to go right. Yeah. And how, how does it sound when we talk about the differences? Every single scene has conflict. Every single scene is brilliantly stated. And I've just, for the last decade, derived so much joy from that show. I can't get too hung up on what they did right and what they did wrong in season eight. But yeah, I mean, I wonder why you can lose a dragon so quick in yeah. whatever that episode was. And then the dragon can take everybody out in the very next episode. Right. And I don't love Ian, you know, Ian Greyjoy enough to give him Jamie Lannister. So we can go on and on. But <laughs> I, I'm so pro Game of Thrones in the end. I, my hat is off to Weiss, Benioff and Weiss. Is, did you, were you ever approached? By them or anybody around to like talk or consult not, on? Not particularly. Bits? I didn't. I mean, I'm buddies with a woman, one of the smartest people you'll ever meet, who's the executive producer, Carolyn Strauss. Mm -hmm. She used to run Warner Brothers, and I, I remember one time I was at a post production facility. Every once in a while, it's fun to be in Hollywood. Yeah. I was at a post production facility, and I'm walking down the hall, and I hear, Hey, McGee. And I turn around, it's Carolyn Strauss. Yeah. And, um, she goes, do you know the boys? I'm like, not really. She goes, oh, this is, you know, DB and David and whatever. And I'm like, oh, hey. And I realize they're coming, just the three of them coming out of an editing facility where they're deciding what's going down on Game of Thrones. Right. And it was just kind of a chilling, fun moment to be in a room like this. And you're like, right there. They're making the choice that people are going to be so excited about yeah. or so mad about or so whatever. And it just comes down to the three of them going, yeah, I think we should X. Right. And that's just... I love that. And, and whenever you can do something and people can get excited about it the world over, to me, that's the goal. Otherwise, we'd all just be in our closet doing our own little, you know, yeah, art totally. paintings.